the reshuffle, Theresa May under pressure from Tory MPs to show more authority today on day two. More? She couldn't show any less, could she? Of the Cabinet mix-up. Well, the Prime Minister uh, abjectly failed in her bid to show any leadership, really, as Education Secretary Justine Greening quit rather than switch to work in pensions. Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt just refused to move, uh, apparently turning down the role of Business Secretary. Our political editor, Ranveer Singh's in Downing Street. Ranveer, I, and I felt so sorry for everybody out there yesterday because you were there for like 12, 14, 16 <laughs> hours. Nothing was happening. Nobody was agreeing to be moved. She couldn't bring herself to fire anybody. And it just got more and more embarrassing as it went on, didn't it? I mean, am I missing something? Uh, no, this was supposed I'm, I'm to be this was supposed to be the springboard for the yeah. new Theresa May, the new boss, the leader. Yeah, I'm afraid she palpably failed to impose her authority, which I'm sure is something that you would never do, Piers. I'm sort of waiting to be hauled into your office now to find out what my next job will be. Uh, but uh, listen, you know, Jeremy Corbyn called it a pointless and lacklustre PR stunt. I mean, when you are asking people to do something different and you are the boss and they refuse, it shows how weak you really are. I mean, and I think the thing about Justine Greening quitting is actually goes right to the heart and has baffled everybody, actually, on all sides of uh, politics. She is not Northern. She is a woman in a same-sex relationship. She went to a comprehensive school. She's won a marginal seat uh, against Labour. She's got lots of young voters who like her, and she is liked and respected. I mean, all the things that the Conservative Party should be broadening their base around, she's gone. Why? Nobody really seems to understand. Theresa May has to really pull something out of the bag today. I doubt she will.